Good morning, Sharon. Hi. Today is Tuber, October 23rd. It is a day E. Welcome to Eagle News. Want to learn more about how you can be part of the Eagle News team? Today's the day. Come to a meeting at 2.40 in room 609 for all the details. See Mr. Oconee with any questions. Are you interested in tutoring immigrant students? Transportation is available for students to tutor the Immigrant Family Services Institute in Rosendale on Saturdays from 1.30 to 5.30. A meeting will be held in the World Language Office, room 111, at 3 p.m. on uh, Thursday, October 24th. All are welcome. Tomorrow after school, the Shelter Buddies Club will be having a bake sale in the auditorium foyer. The money will be donated to homeless shelters in Massachusetts. Everything will be $1, so remember to bring cash. Several colleges are visiting Sharon High School this week. Ms. Regan of the Counseling Office has the details. The Counseling Office is hosting a number of college visits this week. Be sure to sign up in Naviance if you would like to attend. Stop into the Counseling Office to get an Eagle Block pass for those visits taking place during Eagle Block. Last night, our soccer teams had a great and special opportunity to play their games at Gillette Stadium against Canton. Thank you to all the students and faculty who made it out to the games to support our teams. Check out the photos from the event at HockamockSports.com or click on the link at the Athletics Twitter feed. The boys varsity won a crucial game in its goal to make the state tournament, topping the Bulldogs 2-0 on goals by Victor Schneider and Mason Benton. Outstanding goalkeeping from freshman Matt Bauer also helped secure the win. Boys JV tied 0-0. Girls varsity fought hard and played with Canton throughout the game. Girls, girls JV won 2-0 on a goal by Carly Pinnocks and, uh, and a Canton own goal. Kate Golliboy earned the shout shutout. Today, volleyball host Foxborough while field hockey travels there for what looks like wet games on their turf. Tomorrow, please plan to come out to the stadium for a varsity field hockey senior night as they play their first game ever under the lights at Sharon. 6.30, start with the senior ceremony at 6.15. Now we take a look at our school's success and standardized testing part in it. Sharon High students work extremely hard throughout the year, and for this reason, Sharon schools are one of the highest rated schools in Massachusetts. The principal of Sharon High School, Mr. Olson, says a big part of the rankings are performance on standardized tests. Recently, they were rated extremely high by Boston Magazine, and I think they take that into consideration, specifically looking at AP scores and MCAS scores. Sophomores Noah Glassman and Amarki Dara believe that MCAS represents them individually as students as well as it represents the school. MCAS is beneficial to me because I'm able to see what I've learned throughout the year and what I can improve on learning academically the next year. Uh, in my opinion, MCAS is very beneficial to SHS students because it allows us to test our knowledge and really just test what we've learned um, throughout the year. Mr. Olson later said that by scoring well on test scores and continuously showing their academic progress, students have made the school one of the highest in the state, but also helped improve the community. Since the school is ranked so high now, real estate may increase in price for now people want to move to the town of Sharon for the schools. Although the test scores have brought prestige to the school, AP Biology teacher Mr. Snow thinks that state testing may come at a cost. It may influence decisions to put too much of an emphasis on subjects applicable to state testing. You see this a lot in elementary schools where they're taking English and Math, MCAS, trying really hard to get a good score on that and so changing the educational system in a way that maximizes their score on English and Math, that often can come at the extent of other things like the arts um, and even core academic subjects like science and social studies which aren't. Regardless of how you feel the standardized testing is calculated, Boston Magazine has rated Sharon High one of the top schools in Massachusetts something students and teachers should be proud of. That's it for today's announcements. Have a great day, Sharon High.